Hi, so what we have here is a Mexican milkweed and these are so beautiful. One of our friends at the office, she loves these because of the monarch butterflies. They always land on these and this is what they eat as well as where they lay their eggs. So she was mentioning that she loves these. We have so many in our backyard that Alex and I decided we wanted to gift this to her. Here is our milkweed. We found some monarch eggs on it. So we picked it off, put it on a paper towel, and in this enclosed rotisserie chicken container. And let's see what happens. Within four days, the eggs should open up and we should see 11 caterpillars. And then after the caterpillars, you know what happens? beautiful butterflies. Since the chicken container had steam holes, Alex decided to put shish kebab sticks because the eggs are gonna hatch and they're gonna become caterpillars. And then they need something to climb upon and get to the top so they can spin their web and they form a J-shaped chrysalis. And then after about four days from then, it will become a beautiful butterfly. So this is our setup. We got our first caterpillar, baby. Isn't that cool? In about four days, it's going to start eating more and going up the ladder and turning into a chrysalis where it's gonna form into a butterfly. We are super excited. Are you excited, honey? Yes, I'm excited as well. We got more baby caterpillars. There's one right here. We have three new babies. Super excited. And this is our second day now. We cannot believe how big this little caterpillar keeps growing. It is really starting to look like a caterpillar. Hi, everybody. Okay, Hi. So here we are with our four uh, caterpillars. Uh, they have hatched. And out of the 11 that we had in our container, four have hatched. And that's what we understand that happens is not all of them make it. And that's okay. So out of these four, we're going to put them in a new container. And we'll take you into the next stage of a monarch butterfly. We just transferred from one container to the other, and now we're gonna go get some new milkweeds so they have something fresh and yummy to eat. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so we have caterpillars, and what they need constantly is new food. So what I'm gonna do is grab some leaves here that don't have, that don't have, eggs so they can eat. There's two. Four. Oh my goodness, I got a, I got a, I have an egg here. I, I'm gonna leave that one. That's for our next batch of butterflies. Okay. collected six leaves. I'm going to feed them to the caterpillars inside and hope they love it. So check it out. So it looks like one jumped over to the other. So we're going to just take this leaf out and Alex is going to feed some new ones. 
Yum, yum, yum. They're gonna love it. So we just woke up and we saw this little guy hanging and I think he just took off his skin. They do this four times where they shed their skin and yeah, he's doing really good. And then the other ones are also very happy. But look how much they ate. We need to go put some more out. So Alex is going and he's picking up some new fresh milkweed. Now it has new fresh leaves. So I just came back and all of a sudden I noticed the caterpillar must have eaten its shed. And I guess that is normal for caterpillars to do that. And then they'll go back and start eating food again. And they do this approximately four times during their lifetime before they become a chrysalis. So I thought that was very interesting. Wanted to share it with you. So I wanted to show you all our caterpillars this morning. Now, as you can see, we got a big one here and we got two there. Got one over there and look at this little itty bitty one. You probably didn't even realize it, but it is here. I'm going to do a zoom. Look, look how happy he is. We are really enjoying watching these. And we cannot wait till they become a chrysalis and then a butterfly. And then we're gonna release it. A lot of the times predators come in the meantime and usually birds, they see these colorful caterpillars crawling around and you know it's lunch for them. So we're giving these butterflies a fighting chance and so hopefully they can make more and turn more into butterflies. Hi everybody. This is Alex. This is Susie's husband. And today I'm gonna add fresh leaves to our caterpillars. Here's a nice big one. That right there because it smells good. Here's another fresh one. And another. Oh, I don't know about this one. I'll put that over to the edge. Here's another one. And our last one. Got some fresh food now. And they're starting to get pretty big. You can see one right here. So I'm not sure, but this might be our first caterpillar climbing up the ladder to become a chrysalis. And then later hatch into a butterfly. Super excited. It looks like our second caterpillar is also trying to get up top so it can become a chrysalis. Well, he made it to the top. I wonder if he's gonna form a chrysalis or he's just checking out the views. Okay, I guess he was just checking out the views. Maybe he's afraid of heights. It's looking for milkweed. So it looks like the caterpillar wasn't turning into a chrysalis. It was just shedding its skin. So we have three caterpillars still. Check out our caterpillars. They are so happy and look at how big their antennas are getting. They are going to be turning into monarch butterflies soon. 
They sure are hungry. They love milkweed. So you need to always keep constantly feeding them and check for milkweeds without eggs. So we check on all the bottoms of the leaves to make sure that a monarch hasn't laid any eggs. And then those are the leaves that we get because we don't want them to accidentally eat an egg. We're doing our part. They have more of a fighting chance here than they do in the outside world with all the birds out there and other insects. Check out what Alex found this morning. The butterfly emerged from the chrysalis. Beautiful, it is such a great experience. You definitely have to try this out. It's just absolutely breathtaking.